Now in Sweden when it's getting winter it's very dark and uh, boring most of the time but uh, the good thing is that it's garage time. So let's go to some of my friends garages and uh, check their product cars what they're working on. Some of the products are pretty crazy. Start in the garage here and let's see what we can find. Here we have a Nissan. This is not a GTR, looks like, but not. E30, S13, we have a Chevy 57, a Civic four wheel drive conversion, a BMW with a V12 engine, and um, a Saab, I think. This uh, Saab is not uh, very common, it's uh, actually in Lancia, but it's branded Saab. And uh, body kit here in the front, and it's actually a 4G63 engine in this one going in. But I think we start a check with uh, this uh, BMW, it's an E46 with a V12 engine, it's a BMW engine. Yeah, I haven't seen this one for a couple of years, and uh, yeah, it's getting finalized. Electronic throttle body on there. It has some of these nice hydroflow clamps. Big plenum here, aluminum. Bit special intake there with the silicon hoses between the plenum and the runners. The exhaust is going from this side over the engine here. So yeah, it's a single turbo. We have the ignition coils lurking inside there, this hole. Some nuke pieces. And uh, yeah, the chassis and uh, the interior here is newly painted. It's uh, Victor, Victor Mortensen over there painted it. And uh, it's his Civic there, four wheel drive. Nice bracket there for a hydro brake. And in the middle here, they have the fuel surge tank. I see the fuel filters. So they made a new box here for it. I think before it was in the aft of the car, but uh, that's a little bit uh, scary if you crash into something. Yeah, now the fuel rail is uh, over the rear axle there. Big wing, carbon fiber, and the body kit I think is changed from what it was from the beginning. Brake calipers, I actually had uh, these a uh, couple of years ago. I think these are actually original from uh, Jaguar, but it's a very nice ones. Six piston brake calipers. Maybe these are the ones going on in the back. Looks like Brembos from uh, Volvo. And uh, this is actually going to be a drifting car. Was the plan from the beginning? I don't know now. And here we have Victor's 1.4 IS. Uh, this one front wheel drive car is converted to four wheel drive, and it's going to be this engine. It's an K20, and the Victor is also known as VMR Customs. Garrett turbo fitted there. Got a bracket to hold it in one position. And he's actually building the exhaust manifold right now there. So it's a uh, uh, stainless steel one. So it looks like a pretty good uh, room there for the exhaust manifold. But also the downpipe will go from here to that side. And um, the gearbox is a uh, Honda CRV. Here we have the transfer gear, I think it's called, uh, that go, giving the power to the rear wheels. And uh, this car is going to be uh, street driven, it's gonna be uh, street legal, it's the plan uh, to uh, register it with the modifications. Uh, the wheels is going to be this one's Barbet, and maybe there will be some drag racing with this car. It will be wide body with uh, sheet metal. Victor is very good at sheet metal and he has made uh, many wide body cars uh, with just uh, sheet metal work there. So yeah, I think this one will be, it will not be an over extreme car, it will be a nice uh, street car, I hope. And that's the plan. K20A2 engine. Here we have uh, Friedrich Hütter's uh, Nissan Skyline. It's a GTT actually, it's a, not a GTR, even though it looks a little bit like a GTR. The white body here, it's all sheet uh, metal and it's made by Victor. 
the rims. Actually, he told me it was inspiration from me, from my car, my uh, uh, Supra. I had the Workmeister S1s on that one. These ones are wider than I had on my Supra. Bigger dish on these ones, looking really cool. And I really like these rims. They are, uh, yeah, very classy, stylish looking, but still some racing with this split and five spoke and very good quality. I managed to jump my car with the, these ones. This car is actually on bags, so it's possible to race it for some street driving. It's a right hand drive one and the engine. It almost looks like an RB26, but it's an RB25. So it's the original engine out of this car. Very clean looking, black, almost everything. A lot of this VHT wrinkle finish on this one. Nice exhaust manifold there, long runners with the turbo. Some new products there as well. And the hood with the good ventilation there. The front fenders, they are uh, fiberglass, I think. There are some wide body front fenders. And inside, yeah, looking good. Clean and nice car. E30 with an V8. I think it's a Mercedes V8 engine here. It's a uh, single turbo hull set. It's a truck turbo. And uh, so also some uh, uh, dry sump there. And uh, yeah, I think this is something someone bought pretty recent, but it uh, looks like a really fun car. Clean looking S13 Nissan 200 with an SR engine. Single turbo, not know anything about this car really, but uh, yeah, looking like a clean uh, build there. Yeah, and this uh, Saab project, the rims actually, it's Porsche rims, but they're remade from uh, not split to split rims. Okay, so they have actually cut out all the car here. Just the body left and it's all tubes. Maybe in BMW rear subframe here. Yeah, it's an E39 rear subframe. And yeah, it's actually a roll cage and everything here. This car was built to be uh, street legal as well with a rear seat here, but I don't know if it was possible, if uh, it was allowed to have that one. Maybe there was some problem with that. But yeah, this one is um, gonna be really cool. And the wide fenders looking almost like the Lancia Delta Integrale, maybe. Yeah. And uh, this one have seen better days, but it's actually a really sport car. It's an Italian Fiat Sport 850. Really small car that uh, had some um, work on the inside here. Problem with the uh, cars here in Sweden sometimes is that the floor is gone. So yeah, everything all new, rust, um, rust repair there. So that's a quick look in this garage, what's going on here and some cars. And by the way, in this video, if there is any cars you want to see more of in future, maybe when they're in driving conditions, uh, please let me know and I will uh, check that down uh, a little bit more detail and a little bit further down the road. Just a small garage update on my Gallardo here. As you can see, the gearbox is out of the car and uh, I'm actually changing the gearbox. The gearbox that was in was my spare gearbox and that was from a 2004 car. And the first and second gear on that one, it's um, a little bit high, so it's not that nice to drive slow. So I'm putting back my original gearbox in the car now. It's a little bit fixed, so it, it's a little bit repaired. So yeah, that one is going in. And also I'm putting in one of these. It's the Sux uh, CF clutch discs. This one is uh, organic, so I will use one sinter and one organic into this two plate clutch that is in the car. It will not hold as much power, but uh, I think it will be better drivable, uh, nicer to drive. And uh, I'm not taking out uh, maximum power out of this engine really now, because my race project is my R8, even though uh, I don't know how everything is going with that one. So it's still untouched there. For now. I'm here in Hypnotic Garage. This is a garage where there's a kind of a community with uh, several guys having their own uh, little spot here where they have their car. Some of them covered here with some tools. Here we have an BMW. The engine is here, it's actually broken right now. It's a Saab engine in this uh, BMW actually. Here's an adapter plate for a Saab engine and uh, to the BMW gearbox. They tried to boost it about 2.5 bars of boost I think and uh, the piston did not like it. 
but a cool build i think this is built pretty fast and uh, these sub engines they are very cheap right now in sweden and it's possible to take uh, a lot of power out of them this is a 50 cc moped it's a mustang rocket with some more than uh, wheels on it and uh, some customization Henke here in the garage he has his new product it's an s13 nissan and uh, it's a Skyline here, R33. He bought very cheap. He actually bought this one for 1,500 Swedish crowns. That's $150 for Skyline. Of course, it needs a lot of job. And it will be RB, I think, in it, like this one. Evo 8 in this boot. Covered. Volvo 140. We got a Supra. K4 Supra and uh, old Volvo PV, newly painted, so restoration going together here. Here we have uh, Maritza working on her Nissan S14. New engine in this one now, it's a uh, 2J, ditching the SR20 engine. Yes, time for a better swap. <laughs> yes, like this engine. Cool this one with work rims wide in the back and the Supra here it's actually getting a smaller turbo a downsizing on normal street driving uh, with the street tires you don't need the plus thousand horsepower so downsizing to a Garrett turbo here very nice exhaust manifold on this one actually going on an um, electronic throttle body here uh, from BJP race and one cool thing here is that they have a uh, room here with all the machines here are some tire machines they got some for fabrication an old lathe a mill They're possible to wash things some grinding cutting different machines here welding they do actually a powder coating here as well maybe possible to see on the floor so yeah nice little community here uh, with some uh, different people working on different car projects very different from uh, my own garage where i'm working myself most of the time and maritza and matthias they also have a youtube channel pretty big one swedish here dual mtv so check them out where they're doing the projects um, she's actually working on an uh, BMW E30 with a Saab engine as well. That's gonna be a drifting car. I was planning to go to some other garages, but we saved it for another video and cut this one a little bit short. But uh, thank you for watching. <laughs>